gets worse. <laughs> I hope you have some. I love. already feel I feel very dirty. Okay. I have some lava soap. So it's also the the damage report. I wanted to stay with him because he covered this the same episode. But um, so at the Cannes Film Festival was uh, recently, and they had a biopic about Donald Trump about his him in the 80s and 90s and all his failed businesses and what a screw up he was, right? Um, you know, and he's sucking up to his father and pretending to be his own publicist and all that stuff. Well, the biopic came out at Cannes and it's, you know, it's like a, you know, it's a movie, a biopic movie kind of thing, right? Uh, and uh, there was one scene that was depicted in there that Trump and his campaign were not happy about. And we're gonna, he's going to cover this real quick because it, it's bad. There's a new video biography of Donald Trump that received an eight-minute-long standing ovation at Cannes, I believe. His team, not as happy as the audience was, though. And when you find out the issue they have with it, I think you'll understand why Donald Trump is so utterly miffed. So late in the movie, a scene depicting Trump's alleged rape of his first wife, Ivana, drew gasps. He is seen throwing Ivana, played by the amazing Maria Bakalova, violently to the ground and having non-consensual sex with her. Quote, did I find your G spot, he asks in the film, because that's all stuff that was alleged against him. And so when you're doing a biography, that's going to be in it, theoretically. You can see here a screenshot from it. You have Sebastian Stan playing Donald Trump, and he, I think, does a pretty good Trump. He mimics his appearance pretty well there, except he also is attractive, so that's going to throw people off. And um, Jeremy Strong from Succession there is Roy Cohn. So this movie is called The Apprentice, and it tells basically of uh, 1970s and 80s Donald Trump and him, you know, rising to become, you know, a, a self-made born into it a billionaire. And so they're saying they're going to sue now. The Trump campaign is going to sue the filmmakers. But bear in mind, like they're just referencing something that Ivana Trump did say. It was in a 1989 divorce deposition. Uh, so apparently after a painful scalp reduction surgery to remove a bald spot, Donald Trump confronted his then wife, who had previously used the same plastic surgeon, quote, your effing doctor has ruined me. What followed was a violent assault, according to uh, Lost Tycoon. That's a, 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 I think that was a book that, that summarized some of this. Donald held back Ivana's arms and began to pull out fistfuls of hair from her scalp as if to mirror the pain he felt from his own operation. He tore off her. Well, anyway, so it's gross, right? The whole thing is gross. We're going to have to pause for one second and then we'll come back to finish this up. Uh, we got breaking news. Trump was just convicted on all 34 counts. Shut the front door. No, I'm going to see if I can find an article about this. Oh, 34. Holy crap. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I was feeling like the odds were kind of strong that they might split that whole thing off to sort of yeah. lighten things. Nope. nope. Here we go. Wow. I got it right Trump guilty, jury convicts, wow, they came back early. I thought this was going to be like Monday. Trump guilty, jury convicts former president, oh, I don't want all that, uh, of all counts in historic hush money trial. The conviction, which legal experts say is unlikely to lead to jail time, and we'll see, does not disqualify Trump from running for president. An appeal is likely okay. The jury serving in Donald Trump's hush money trial returned a guilty verdict Thursday. God, that was a quick deliberation. It was like less than two days against the former president, leaving an indelible blot on American history and scrambling the dynamic in the 2024 presidential election for the presumed Republican nominee. After roughly nine hours of deliberation, the jurors found Trump. Nine hours was all it took? Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. That's all it took was nine. I would have thought at least like 15 or 16. Uh, guilty. Well, they had to be, they had to be unanimous, you know, like uh, that having to be unanimous that's got to take a while well yeah i mean typically if it's a guilty plea it's usually pretty quick but considering all the ins and outs of this case i figured they would they'd want to hear a lot of evidence and to go over but yeah right they found him guilty in all 34 counts oh man oh man so here we go so we'll report on that more uh later i'll, I'll probably cover it later this week um but yeah, let's see what they got. Uh, oh, man. Let's see. 
judge has set Donald Trump's sentencing for July 11th. <laughs> okay. So he did not wait. Did not wait. I love that so much that That's, he didn't wait. He's not dicking around. So that tells you that he's prepared to, to put the smack down here. Man, that's crazy. Well, I called it. I told you he was probably going to be convicted at the beginning of this episode, and he was. I didn't think it happened while we were filming. <laughs> no, no. I, I thought that we were going to have to wait, honestly, till tomorrow, possibly Monday. I didn't yeah. think that it was going to go quickly, you yeah. know? I thought it was going to be Monday, too. But crazy stuff. Well, I wanted to get into this, so... I'm going to clip back to what we were talking about, the film that came out about him where they depicted the rape of Ivana, which was in her book, in her biography. Um, and so how they depict it in the film is exactly how it happened. But I thought, since we're talking about Trump, why don't we do a little, go back through history, and we'll talk about some of his uh, past sexual assault accusations and confirmed ones, right? So... The 80, 1989 was the the one where he assaulted and raped Devonna Trump while they were married. And yes, you can, I know the Trump, you can't rape your wife. Yeah, you can. You can rape your spouse. You can always say uh, no to you sex. Can rape, you can rape anyone that is saying no to you. You can rape an animal. Yeah. yeah. If they can't consent, it's rape. Or if they don't consent, it's rape. Um, he also got accused, Jill Harth accused him in 92. And he had sued him, and he settled that out of court. Uh, 1994, Jane Doe, we don't know her actual name, uh, was a lawsuit filed in California in April 2016 from a 1994 incident accused Trump and Jeffrey Epstein, the big child trafficker, right, uh, forcibly raping three 12- and 13-year-old girls at underage sex parties at Epstein's Manhattan residence in 1994. Uh... The girl dropped the case after getting death threats from Trump supporters in 2016. Eugene Carroll, who we know he raped because the uh, jury adjudicated him as a rapist. Um, 96, let's see, Summer Zeveros, 2007, was a, a contestant on The Apprentice. He sexually assaulted her. Uh, Alva Johnson, 2016. And there's like 28 more. I'm just going through the basic, the big ones. Uh, other allegations, Jessica Leeds, 1980, Kristen Anderson, Lisa Boyd. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. This guy has a long history of sexual assault and being accused of it. And you go, oh, well, it's falsely accused. No, he freaking did it. <laughs> so that's, I mean, I'm that's who you're voting for. The now convicted if you felon. Rolling through that list. As you go scrolling through that list, like you were scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. God, I really do have to take a shower and we're done filming. This is I'm so just, gross. Ugh, uh, and it's all very gross. And a convicted felon. And, uh, you know, the guy who let, fucked up the pandemic. And, 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 and. I mean, this is, I mean, this is why I say when people say, well, not all Republicans are bad. If you're voting for Trump or you're voting for Republicans, yeah, you are. Because you're voting for this shit. You support this shit. So you either are okay with it or want it, or you're just, you're okay with dealing with it. it At doesn't minimum, matter. you're saying it's okay and it doesn't matter. Right. That it's a non-issue. And if you're saying it's a non-issue, that's an issue. No. So all the sexual assault stuff, well, just to give you a little scrubbing bubbles here, a little little soap. Uh, e. Jean Carroll, who... Won her first defamation case against Trump for $5 million. He defamed her again after that. It, actually, the same day she won. And then later, she sued him again. Jury came back and gave her whatever it was, $88 million. <laughs> Right? He was kind of quiet about it, but he's done it again recently, a couple more times. And now this is happening. And here's Ben My Solace on the Midas Touch. So it looks like E. Jean Carroll is getting ready to file another defamation lawsuit against Donald Trump, finally, after prevailing 
in a second civil lawsuit against Donald Trump where she was awarded about $91 million when you include pre- and post-judgment interest. She stated before that if Donald Trump continued to defame her, that her lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, would bring another defamation lawsuit and that all options remained on the table. Donald Trump has continued to defame E. Jean Carroll. He posted on Memorial Day a... So this uh, was his happy Memorial Day. So this is this just this week, Monday. Happy Memorial Day to all, including the human scum that is working so hard to destroy our once great country and the radical left Trump-hating federal judge in New York that presided over, get this, two separate trials that awarded a woman who I never met before. He did meet her. A quick handshake at a celebrity event 25 years ago doesn't count. $91 million for defamation. That was with the interest. It was like 80-some. She didn't know when the so-called event took place sometime in the 90s, never filed a police report, didn't have to produce the dress. So this is all defamation. He's saying that she's lying. This is, this is what's so funny to me. So the whole premise of that case, when people are like, well, he wasn't convicted of rape. Yeah, but he was found to be a rapist. Okay? It's still bad. And I had this argument with, the, with, with one of our viewers, or not our regular viewers, our viewers are smart. Um, but the Trump supporter was like, well, he wasn't convicted. I'm like, well, he, but he was adjudicated, right, by a jury that he was a rapist. And they were like, well, not really. And I'm like, yeah, really, because the, what happened was is E. Jean Carroll sued him because she came out about it. He said she lied. That was defamation. He called her a liar. That was what this lawsuit was about. So either she was telling the truth and she wasn't lying and he was lying, in which case he defamed her, or Trump's telling the truth and she was lying, in which case he didn't defame her. He was just telling the truth. So to determine which one of them was lying, you had to determine, did he rape her? And the jury, the jury came back and said, yep, he raped her. Trump's lying. So you can say, well, it wasn't criminal. All right, well, let me just put it this way. A jury of 12 people, or nine people, I'm sorry, it was a civil case. Nine people found that Trump t assaulted her in a department store, pressed her against the wall, stuck his finger inside of her. Does that sound better, that he raped her by doing that? Does that sound better? He wasn't criminally convicted. <laughs> Who gives a shit? He did it. He should have been criminally convicted. If somebody's doing that to your sister, are you going to split the hairs like that? Exactly. If somebody's doing that to you, <laughs> doing that to anybody, you should have their asshole removed. But that's what he's doing here. And here's the post. This is the Memorial Day post he just did. He's doing it again. He's calling her a liar. Saying she didn't know when the so-called event... A very oh, long sorry. message. Took place sometime in the 90s, never filed a police report, didn't have the produce of the dress, da 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 Interview with Allison Cooper, but changed her tune in the second half, gee, I wonder why, under appeal, the rape charge was dropped by a jury. No, it wasn't. Uh, or Arthur Ingram, the New York State wacko judge who fined me almost 500 million. See, just bitch, 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 bitch. Business fraud. Sexual assault. <laughs> and now, 34 convictions. 34 counts, e felony counts, of falsifying business records to cover up a crime. And the judge has already set sentencing for a month from now. Which tells me that Ngoran pretty much has an idea what he's going to do already. Right. We'll see. I, I... I will be extremely disappointed if he doesn't get some jail time. As severe as this was and as horrible as he was and how much shit he talked about the judge and the jury and he had the Republican House members coming down to intimidate the jury and talking shit about them and the witnesses, I'd be shocked if he doesn't get jail time. If this were you or me, we'd be looking at a year minimum. If anybody else, right. if viewers, if this was you doing this shit, you'd be looking at a year in prison. So, we'll see how it all goes. Um, anyway, we're kind of running out of some time here. Uh, how do you feel about next week, uh, or do you have time this weekend to do stuff? 
Do you like 30 minutes? Could maybe squeeze that in this weekend. Okay. So we'll cover some finite stuff then this week, and we'll work it out. We'll work something out. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll probably cover some more on the, the, the Trump case that has just happened, and we're not a news show, so we don't do breaking news typically. <laughs> We're not really equipped for that here. We don't have five producers running around feeding us shit. We don't have a budget. No. So, anyway, uh, where can everybody catch you, Lacey? As always, you can catch me at mysensewithsense.com, where you can find articles that I've written, information about workshops and courses that I do. If you have questions about any of those things, you can email us. You can also email us to invite yourself on the show or, or a little bit nervous about doing that. You could just send us some good clips, some topic requests or questions. Yeah. Duncan, where would they do that? Yeah, email us at gossipfinance88 at outlook.com. Yeah, definitely invite yourself on the show. We'll talk about the Trump case. Um, you know, and we'll be very, very professional and civil about the whole thing. I, I promise we won't do anything. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, we won't do anything, anything untoward or anything like that. <laughs> but thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. <laughs> Thank you.